make this move in my life. Under these circumstances, I don't think I can take that step of faith. Under these, don't get under those circumstances. Don't allow yourself. Get up on that mountain and look down on those circumstances and say, you know something? My health may be the same tomorrow as it is today, but I'm going to see myself healed. My job may not be what it should be today, but I see myself doing something different tomorrow. I'm going to picture that in my mind and then I'm also going to speak it remember the scripture says speak into that mountain say into that mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea let's get back to the scripture this is what I was going to preach about anyway okay but you get back to this Romans the, the, the fourth chapter the, the 17th verse it says here to call it says to, to call those things which are not as if they were call those things that are not as if they were it says here in the, in the this is the old uh, King James, it says, call those things which, are, which would be not as though they were. Call them as they were. That's what God has given to us as the seed of Abraham, that we have that God in our lives that can do this. He's calling them for us right now. So when we think about this, first of all, to call it is to speak it. So speak it. Say, I'm healed. Say, I'm an overcomer. Say to the mountain, be thou removed. Call it as it is in your faith eye, not in your natural eye. What we see naturally will destroy us many times if we walk in it. But we see by faith, not by sight. Paul said, I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. So you speak it, you call it is to speak it, and to speak it is when it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, but I'm speaking it. I'm saying the car is running, okay? I'm saying the glass is half full, not half empty. I'm saying it's not 31 degrees below zero. It's only four degrees. See, you're saying it, and we're believing it. And God is moving in us as we do this. It's part of this. Is a, part of, a lot of this is just up to you and me to do it. The Scripture says, the Scripture, this positive thinking thing that I'm always talking about uh, is, is so real because it opens the door and faith opens the door for the Holy Spirit to work, is what I'm saying. And really, that's all I really need to say. Is that when you and I will take this scripture and say, I'm going to call those things which are not as though they were. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start saying that this is the way it really is. Because God has a promise in here to back it. Now, I'm not just talking about give me a Cadillac. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about fill my, my bank book up with a million dollars. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about things that are backed by the Word of God. Backed by the Word of God. Healing belongs to you. The promises of God belongs to you. The, the peace belongs to you. The, the, the spiritual prosperity belongs to you. The Word of God belongs to you. So you start taking that and you say, I'm going to call this as it is going to be by the Word of God. And God will, the Holy Spirit is activated when you start acting that way. The movement of God's Spirit. Your faith is activated. And God opens doors and you're able to walk right in to the very miracles that these songs we're talking about today. We can say, I believe in that miracle. But you're going to have to walk in it. You're going to have to believe it. You call those things as if they have already happened. That's the miracle. I'm going to believe that that miracle has already taken place. I'm believing that this is happening in my life. This, I, I found this someplace. I'm going to read this. I do write down some things. It says here, I thought, now what does this really mean? What does this mean to other people? Well, here's, here's what, uh, uh, this is what one of the spiritual leaders of our day says. That Romans 4.17 is going to, here's what happens when you do this. When you and I do this, here's what he says. He says it releases the creative power of God's word by believing it in the face of challenging circumstances. Let me repeat it again here. Okay? It says, when, when you say, when you call something, back by the word of God, when you call it and say, I am saying that this is the way it is, even though it's not naturally that way, even though you, with your natural eye you can't see it. Okay? When you do this, that releases... Of course, that's faith. That releases, okay, the creative power. Because God created everything every, anyway. It releases the creative power of his word by the believer because we believe in the face of a challenging circumstance. Start calling it 
as though it was already given to you. Start calling it as that which you know is backed by the Word of God and belongs to you. You are worthy of it. Because it says so right here. Because you're the seed of Abraham. So you call it out. And you say, I believe that this belongs to me. And I receive it now. When we the believers see that God calls those things which are as though they are, were, as though were not, as though they are, our faith is activated. The doors open up for us to walk in. You walk by faith. If, you, if, if it's there, you don't walk. By faith, you probably won't get it. You walk by faith, and those circumstances will be under your feet as you walk. They may not change, but they'll be under your feet, and God will give you a blessing. I pray that we all would leave this service today with a blessing, realizing that we're going to call those things which are not as though they were, and we're going to see them as they are in God's Word, manifested in our lives for His glory and His honor, but for our benefit. And it'll work that way, because that's God's Word. That's not just a doctrine of man. That's God's Word. So today, I challenge you to call those things which are not as though they were, and believing that God's promise in His Word will back it. And the power of the Holy Spirit and the, and the activated faith in you We'll have it happen, and you'll receive what God has for you. You see, if you and I will take and say, here we are, a vessel. Now, if you're here today and you don't know Jesus as Savior, please don't leave before you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please let God come into your life through Jesus and save your soul. But today, as I look out here, I'm just saying to you, as a believer, as a believer, God wants you to take and cash in on these promises. So be that vessel. Empty yourself out of unworthiness. That's the one thing that keeps people from cashing in on this, on this verse. Don't feel that you're not worthy. You are worthy because you are the seed of Abraham. Secondly, don't feel you have to earn it by doing so much. Just be who you are. And do what God has told you to do. And then also, take it by faith and not by sight. And believe it in your heart. And say, fill me up. Because I, when I am filled up with the Spirit of God, this can happen in my life. In other words, be filled.